Hi everyone, today I'm gonna explain to you the honey industry in 5 minutes. Bees will only produce honey if they have a queen. Queen bees are often artificially inseminated, which means that the honey industry first kills by crushing and squeezing a male bee to take out his semen and then they forcibly insert it in the queen bee's vagina. Then the queen bees are sold online and sent by mail. They are often killed or injured during transportation. But nobody cares. When beekeepers receive the queen they purchase, they either hold onto her legs or squeeze her thorax enough not to kill her and then proceed to amputate her wings by a is called clipping, so she can't escape and mark her using an enamel paint pen. Enamel paint, for those who don't know, has a high toxicity and causes symptoms such as dizziness, extreme headache, poor coordination and vision and brain damage. Which is conveniently how the honey industry wants the queen bee to eat. We cannot be defenseless and unable to run away. And since bees have a very strong bond with their queen, they will never abandon her. Bees live in the honeycomb, which is a place they work incredibly hard to create. It's a place where they raise their young and store their food, which is honey. Bees are making honey by sucking nectar out with their tongues from flowers blossoms and then store it in their stomach. When they have a full load, they fly back to the hive, they pass it on to other bees who chew it and then pass it from bee to bee until it turns into honey. Yeah, that's right, honey is literally bee vomit. Swallowed and vomited over and over and over. But bee vomit doesn't sound much like a sellout, right? Then the bees store it in honeycomb cells made of the wax they produce so they can have food all year long for them and their babies. How did this get here? Or that's what they think. Because fuck this, we want that shit. It's not like if we had any other sweeter alternatives anyway, right? Also, if hundreds of bees are crushed in the process of taking out and putting back the hive panels or removing honey and wax, it's just collateral damage, bro. And if they try to defend themselves, that's the fuck up. Sounds familiar? This is silly! By the way, they don't make very much of it though. It takes at least 8 bees all their life to make one single teaspoonful of honey. And vegans don't consume honey. It's so extreme. Imagine all the work of your life being consumed in a cup of tea. Not cool. They make the honey, and we make the money. You know, in some cold climate regions, they intentionally kill all the bees in preparation for the winter. The reasoning is that the amount of money to spend for the bees in winter is worth more than the cost of new bees in the spring. And they like the same reason why they burn the whole honey come alive when bees get any type of disease that can be cured with antibiotics. It's all about the motherfucking money. But bees are massively dying, a heritage bird chasing honey would help the bees population. While the EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Agency, stated that what causes the mass die off of bees are chemical pesticides referred as neonicotinoids. What? Bees are being killed by a pesticide that the main function is to kill insects? Who would have guessed? EPA's actions to protect bees from pesticide exposure include an implemented policy in 2017 that protects bees from agricultural pesticides, prohibiting the use of those pesticides, expediting their evaluation of their family, gently halting the approval of new pesticide uses, and on and on. Wait, if the EPAs are the ones helping the bees' population, what the fuck is the honey industry doing for them? Exactly. The honey industry is like that guy in class who didn't do anything, we got all the credit. But there's something we can do. Crops destined for animal feed are sprayed with 2 to 20 times the amount of pesticides used on crops destined for human consumption. That means that food crops destined for the meat industry are 2 to 20 times more dangerous to bees than crops destined for the consumption of vegetables for humans. Also, it takes from 3 to 20 pounds of plant protein to produce just 1 pound of animal protein. So a non-vegan diet will always need more land, therefore even more pesticides than a plant-based diet. So if the bee population went extinct or incredibly decreased, that's how our food variety it would look like. Quite depressing to be honest. What about the health benefits of honey? According to nutrition data, a typical batch of honey supplies 82% of sugar. Honey has similar effects as sugar on blood glucose levels. This is especially problematic for people with diabetes and insulin resistance. One tablespoon of honey contains 64 calories, which is higher than sugar at 48 calories per tablespoon. Honey contains a type of bacteria called Clostridium, which has been found that can develop infant botulism in young children. If we need another proof that these corporations only care about the money, we can just take a look to what does the big amount of products for children contain. Honey is also bad for the teeth. One in eight children suffers to decay by the age of three caused by products made of honey. And it's bad for your skin. According to scientists, the glucose, fructose, and carbs found in honey cause collagen damage. Too much honey can lead to blood sugar issues in healthy people too, increasing the risks of weight gain, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. Hey, if you love the taste of other species vomits, no judgments here! You can try alternatives like agave syrup, which has a low glycemic index, apple cider syrup, which has potassium, protein, vitamin C, riboflavin, and niacin, and maple syrup, which is not so healthy, but none of them involve the enslavement or death of bees. And just for the record, ecological and regular honey in terms of bees' healthcare are the same. Resuming honey is all about the money.